There is no doubt this is the hardest season of all time. On the last day, the ranking was moving up way too fast that I had to stay up late to watch the movement. But it's all been worth it, guys. For this epic legendary skin of an F5 that I don't even have. <laughs> so as usual, we're gonna go through our monster budget pool that we use for season 12. Let's see what is meta and what is at least the meta. Now what you see at the top is my favorite monster I use for RTA. These are the monsters I first picked most of the time and really really meta. As for the bottom, these are my niche pick guys because this guy's on triple offense doesn't really work well without Tyran. Front is much better. Not Devil Montap. Nope. First of all, let's discuss the meta. The meta for season 12 is one shot and CC. When I say CC, I'm talking about those double stripper Gianna, Chiwu, Okeanos, Hathor, and etc. Now the way I deal with one shot is with this girl, Mina right here. Mina with an insane base speed is enough to outspeed most new girl like Dapnis. Dapnis OP guys, Tomato wins the legend tournament because of what? Now the way I deal with that shit is by using Mina. With Mina, it is easy to outspeed and one shot squeezes. Because you know, Dapnis is even squeezier than Firth. Most of them are on speed, crit damage, and attack. That's what makes Mina very OP in this meta. C is countered by Diana though guys, so gotta be careful with that. Another way I deal with the one shot meta is with Triana. Triana is now my number one first pick, cause I wanna anticipate the one shot coming. It's always coming guys. The double beast riders, you know, three of them are very strong and each one of them also screams one shot. So Daphne's one shot you, the beast rider one shot you, this meta really scary without Triana. That's what makes Triana my number one pick and then followed by Lauren. Lauren is my favorite pick, she's very versatile and works in almost all com. Now for my Lauren, she's on Violent Will, and my Triana is also on Violent Will. I prefer my Triana to be tanky and on Will to counter Ganymede, cause you know if I anticipate one shot, I still have to anticipate the incoming CC too. So Triana kinda works for both the CC meta and kinda works for the one shot meta. If not then my Triana is just gonna get reset by the Ganymede, what's the point? Ganymede, Daphne's combo, disgusting guys. This is my last match, the one that secured me the G1 position. As you can see, I try to pick Triana, Lauren almost every time. And of course, it's Daphne's. Why am I not surprised? You know what also works against Daphne's and the one-shot meta at the moment? It's, it's Tiran guys, but I don't have the premium option to go Tiran, so it's Triana. Tiran is very good though. That defense up, that revive, that nuke, very very insane. And look at that Mina, she almost one shot my monkey. <laughs> Except this one is a uh, this guy is a C3, right? If it's somebody maybe above C3, then it's going to kill guys. That's why I first pick Triana and Lauren every match. Now let's talk about some of my pay to win units for this season. I always tell you guys that in order to climb, I believe that you need two premium units, and in my case, my premium units are Siho and Raki really works best in this season. This is how I run my monkey. On speed, crit damage, attack. This monkey is gonna hide under invincibility, so I believe it's better to give him the attack option so that he can tear his opponent to shreds like King Kong. <coughs> Raki, Raki, Raki. Now the reason Raki is meta this season is because of Miho and also Tiran, that OP win through it. And for now, I guess. Raki deals very well against this. Now, this is one of the most popular and OP com you can find at season 12, featuring Molong, Harmonia, and Tiran. Now, the way I deal with this is banning the Harmonia and then just picking Raki. See? Raki is gonna get banned, guys. However, if you ban the Raki, then you cannot beat Triana, Vanessa with this com. So what happens is that you lose. Same guy, but this time since he banned Raki and he lost, he thought why not let the Raki through. So this is what happened if you let the Raki through. Never let the Raki through guys. Just gonna speed that up. There we go, that's just how disgusting Raki is. And what makes her very strong in this meta against Tiran meta. 
we're gonna talk about Vanessa. Now Vanessa is the most first pick monster in the meta, in fact by everyone. But not me guys, I don't have what it takes to get first turn. The best thing I can do getting first turn is utilizing Dapnis for the one shot, but as you guys know it, she's not the whole one tap and not ready for action. So I use my Vanessa to survive first turn against one shot like Maulong and the Besider stuff like that. Here's my Antares. Antares only exists to counter Diana and Ferd, period. He's under fans despair, cause I love revenge on him. Speaking of Diana, here's my Diana. On HP, crit damage, HP. Diana a counter to Mina, that's why really meta in this season, cause Diana eats Mina. Look at it this way guys. Cat eats fairies, fairies eat horse, and horse eats cat. Don't ask me how. Next we have Edna. Edna is actually just a female version of the monkey. They both do basically the same thing. Now, I'm not a fan of violent Edna. I'm a fan of the spare wheel Edna. I feel like the shatter attack bar that you get from the passive is gonna be wasted on, on violent. But Taku, the despair on the stun also wasted on the third skill. I don't care guys, I think that more potential is being wasted on the second skill rather than the third skill. Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comment section. Uh, we have Ciara, but to be honest, I don't really like using Ciara. You know what? What is he even doing over here? Ciara, you belong in the nice pick, okay? Over here, cause you miss your bomb, and I can't pull you off since I don't have any CC like any Hathor. So I don't use you often, why the hell are you doing there? Go to where you belong. Miho! I'm pretty sure if you go to the most hated monster in Summoner's War, you're gonna get Miho. She is also the reason why I don't play with the Ager offered most often anymore <laughs> cause of this girl guys so i don't mind miho on vampire nemesis i think she needs more attack than speed so that when the opponent lands dot on her she's gonna fam a lot and not die to the dot immediately especially when we're up against defense up monster like vela jewel tiran this is the build i find most successful with once again if you disagree with me please let me know in the comment section since I have no Hathor, I sometimes substitute the Hathor with Ashu Bell. In other words, I will only pick Ashu Bell as my last pick if the opponent has no immunity, since he can strip. He's no Hathor guys, very very inferior to Hathor. Not a Hathor, never will be. He's on Violent Will, slower than most of my single target strippers like Siho, Etna, and Lauren of course. If I pick these three, I can safely pick Ashu Bell, which means that at least two people are gonna get slapped. Nope. My first is now on Triple Revenge to counter the double stripper meta. I have a whole video about him, so if you wanna check that out, go ahead. Laika, they say very good against Daphnis, very good against Frat. However, I think she's easily countered by Siho, and easily countered by Lauren, easily countered by attack break from Fran, so not a fan is too. Not a fan to be honest. Also, I see that most people can pull him off because they have Tyran. Not in my case. He's on Will Violent. I also have a whole video about Laika, so if you wanna check that out, once again, it's in the description below. Nothing to say about this to be honest. If the opponent picks the Fran and I need immunity, that's when I pick him. If not, then Fran is always the better option. Now Devilmon, we'll talk about him later in the next season probably. Leo, I like to use with Firth against Double stripper, CC, on your com. Sometimes works, sometimes don't. Actually, <laughs> I'm not even sure if you should be picking Leo. Leo just sucks, guys. All I know is that in today's meta, Leo are on Nemesis Violent and no longer Vampire. So that is how I got G1 for this season. Now we have a problem, guys. I have no good girls, and I'm not even sure which of the skin I should get. So I need your help here. Please let me know <laughs> in the comment section. Which awkward girl you would choose if you were me? And then I will pick the most popular girl in the comment section. I hope this video is useful for you guys and that you got the rank that you aim very hard for this season. Thank you for a wonderful season and I hope to make the next season even better than this one with you guys. In the meantime, bye bye! bye, -bye.